big thank you for joining us. And uh, before we get to this weekend's big opener in the in the Challenge Cup, how, how are preparations going at at Jewsbury Moor ahead of the new season? Uh, well, it's, it's preparations are have been slow to be honest because of uh, the weather. So we've, uh, we've we've struggled in terms of uh, we've got a, a very good training facility, but we haven't got anything like uh, what a lot of Super League clubs have got, uh, like a four G pitch. We've got a a training floodlit training field. But obviously, with the heavy rain that we've had recently, it's uh, it's knocked us back a lot. But but numbers wise, we've got a fairly big squad. We had a training session last night, so we went through some stuff last night. So hopefully, uh, that's about a week's preparation for York, which is uh, it, it's going to be a, it's going to be a, a tough ask. I was going to say because it's um, you've you've joined this competition pretty late on in the day. I think the place was was due to go to Witness, but Witness have decided to concentrate on preparing for. For, for the championship season. Um, so how, how tricky is this for you as the head coach of, of such oh, a young side? Uh, it, it, it's, it's, it's like, it's really tricky, but, but um, we, couldn't, we couldn't turn chance down. It, it's too big of an opportunity. It's like an honour for our club. I mean, as soon as we told our club committee, they were just over the moon. So we're not really thinking about too much about the teams in front of us. We're just trying to take it as a, an experience for girls. I mean, we've got a quite a talented squad, but it's going to be a, it's a difference from being talented to playing an elite team like York. So it's going to be it's going to be tough. But we, we we trained last night, and the girls. I think I'm more nervous than the girls. The girls the girls seem really up for it, which which is which is good. And for the club, obviously York City Knights. It's a, it's a big name. You've got Bradford in your group. You've got Wigan in your group. Um, yeah, I can, I can see why you could be too overjoyed, to be honest. Yeah, that's it. And we've got, and we've got two games at home as well, so uh, that's good for club. We've we've uh, we've recently uh, built a new clubhouse, which cost just short of a million pound. So we've got some great facilities now. So it's nice for club to get some at back and have some big teams there. Uh, they're 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 over the They're excited. I remember. I, I think I called with Jews before actually when when that money was was allocated for for the facilities. And um, yeah. just to touch upon the the, the women's side of things, um, I mean it's 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 really warranted and and you know a brilliant reward. You know this this Challenge Cup offer because there's so much great work going on under the Open Age team, isn't there? I mean, give us a bit of uh, an understanding of the scope of of the women's game at Jews before. Uh, well, we've, we've, I've been there for, this is my sixth season. I was there, it started in 2016. Uh, we had about 40 players. We've, last year, we had 100 players, uh, ranging from four age groups. And then we had uh, probably 30 women. Um, and we've, obviously, Dewsbury, the area just produces really, really good rugby players. So we've had, to, we've had some really cracking teams. And as under, under 14s last year, they won the grand final. So we've we've got some really talented individuals coming through, and obviously as open age team are the old under 16s 2019 grand final champions as well. So uh, we've got a bit of mixture of Shaw Cross and Jules and more girls that have uh, come on board. So it's, it, it, it's really good. We've, we've we've built it a really something special, and hopefully we can we can keep it going. It's, it's obviously it's hard with the. We're having talented players, and then the lure of Super League. So that's the Challenge Cup. We should say you, you, you're making it's not just a leap there. You're making a leap as well into, into Championship this season, the second tier yeah. of of Women's Rugby League. Uh, how how much are you looking forward to, to that challenge? Uh, yeah, I think I, I think to be fair, last season we actually were meant to be starting in League Two, and then the opportunity came along uh, to go in League One, and obviously. I know our I know our girls. I've I've coached some of them uh, throughout the age groups, and they're a really talented bunch. Uh, we've got a few older ends in thing, and I just I just said straight away, look, let's take a chance. Let's go in League One, and uh, and we did really well. I mean, I think it were only uh, two games before end of the season before we actually lost a game uh, to old, to old KR. We I went on to lose it in grand final. Uh, so yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be a big jump, but I actually think we've got a good enough squad to compete. Uh, uh, quite a good level in championship, so but well, there, there is some good teams in there. And uh, that, that then takes us to this weekend. Uh, we've already mentioned it, but the York City Knights uh, at, at Dewsbury Moor. Um, 
how much you're looking forward to, to this occasion. I mean, it's going to be oh. uh, quite historic, isn't it, really, for the club? Yeah, it, it's it's absolutely massive for for the for the club in general, for the women's and girls section of Jewish Moor. And uh, yeah, it's pretty, pretty much a, an honour to, to be playing up for, for the girls, to be playing against some of the players. Uh, there's some, there's some, what, six, maybe seven England internationals in that squad. Uh, so it's going to be it's going to be a it's going to be a massive ask, you know. It's I probably if, if we couldn't have come up against a, a harder team really in this first game, but you know we know what to expect. Um, we're just going to go out there. The girls we've said to the girls just go out there, just enjoy the occasion. Don't concentrate on the scoreline. Let's go out. Let's enjoy it. And it's a first foot club. It's a, it's going to be an historic day. So. It's it's going to be a, it's going to be buzzing and uh, down at Jewish Mall on Sunday, so I'm hoping, I'm hoping weather's going to be nice. 